Cactus reporting plays a big role in the care of the plant. That's why it is important to know how to properly do it. If several young plants grow in one pot, then we transplant or arrange them after the cactus stalks have closed. Plants are planted in individual pots. The volume of pots should be minimal, only to feed the root system. When you do transplanting, it is necessary to maintain the previous level. This cactus belongs to a species that grows with a single stem and has a fairly large friable root system. We use a new pot which is 20 or 30% larger than the old one. This cactus is transplanted because the plant stem blocked the surface of the pot and there were inconveniences in caring for it. The soil is not completely filled with roots, so we need to remember this when watering the plants further. We also maintain the previous level of the plant when transplanting it in a new pot. If the transplanted plant is a cluster or a group of stems and forms a pillow from them, then we use a new pot to plant such a cactus. Some species of cacti have a taproot system, for example Lophophora. They can also form a pillow of stalks. The bonsai pot is not suitable for such plants. They are planted in pots, the height of which is 1.5 or 2 times bigger the diameter of the pot. Young plants, which will form a cluster of stalks with age, are transplanted into the pot 20 or 30 percent larger than the previous one. Flowering plants can also be transplanted. Such a plant will be reported in a bonsai pot after one year. If the cactus has reached its maximum species size, then you should not increase the pot volume during transplanting. With the help of water, we partially remove the old soil. The next step – reporting the plant in an old pot. If the root system does not easily come out of the pot, then it is pushed out with a homemade pusher made of a bolt and tape. Usually cacti increase in size in favorable care conditions. The center of gravity of the composition moves upward and the composition loses its stability. If the root system cannot be removed from the pot with a pusher, the pot can be broken, or you can wet the soil at first and then repeat the process again. A new pot should ensure the stability of the composition without additional supports. Sometimes cacti have problems. The old plant in this video has a damaged root system, several stems have dried up. In this case, transplanting is necessary to conduct a revision of the root system and to make a decision about the future of the plant. Inspection showed no infection and the fact that the root system of the cactus is quite healthy. Therefore, the soil from the roots is not removed and the plant is transplanted into a pot of a slightly larger size. But if an infection was detected, then transplanting would not be done like this, so maybe this process will be shown in the future video. There are a couple of tips for a good cactus reporting. So before starting that planting or transplanting process, you need to study the specific features of your plant. It grows in one stem or forms a cluster. What is the root system looks like? It develops quickly or not? Is the root system voluminous or small? A healthy plant should be transplanted in spring. The soil must be sterilized, have high drainage properties and nutritional value, and have the necessary acidity. The pot must have a drainage hole. When you do transplanting, remember that the level of the new planting should always be the same as previous. If you like this video, hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, cause this is the best motivation for us. See you in the next video. Good luck! Thank you.